Okay, here's the second example of the same of the topic finding atomic mass from isotope mass and natural abundance. So we have ruthenium again, except this sample of ruthenium has these two isotopes present in it at in, in these relative abundances. 92.1% of all of the ruthenium in this sample was this isotope, ruthenium 98. 7.9% of all of the ruthenium in the sample was uh, the, the remaining 7.9% was ruthenium 100. So let's calculate the average atomic mass or atomic weight for ruthenium uh, from the information, uh, the analysis of this sample. So the average atomic, uh, the average atomic mass or atomic weight is going to be equal to, and we're going to have to perform uh, a a, a multiplication for each isotope and what we're going to be doing is multiplying the atomic mass times the fractional abundance for isotope 1 and the same thing the atomic mass times the fractional abundance for isotope uh, fractional abundance for isotope 2. Isotope 2. Okay? So, let's plug in what we know. The atomic mass of isotope 1 is 98 rounded, but we are giving a more precise mass. It's 97.9 AMUs. The fractional abundance, we get that from the relative abundance, 92.1%. Divide that by 100 or move the decimal place to the left two times to give us 0 0.921. No units associated with that. We add that to what we get here. The atomic mass of isotope 2, ruthenium 100, it's 99.9 .9 AMUs times the fractional abundance. Now notice here the relative abundance is in the single digits. 7, 7.9% 7 to be exact. So if I move the decimal place here to the left two times, I don't end up with 0.79, but 0 0.079. Many students make that mistake. They don't move the decimal place to the left twice, always. For single digit relative abundances, they only move the decimal place to the left one time, but you want to make sure to always divide by 100 or move to the decimal place to the left two times, always. Okay, so that's what we have. And so our next step is to simplify this by multiplying 97.9 times 0.921. We end up with 90.1659. I'm not going to round this. I'm going to write out the whole calculated answer. And 99.9 times 0 0.079 is 7.8921. Now let's add those two together to get our average atomic mass. 7.8921 plus 90.1659 gives me 98.058 AMUs. They ask us to round our entry to three significant digits. So we will do that. One, two, three, 98.1 and use would be our average atomic mass. So when we plug that in here, ruthenium has an atomic number of 44 always, but in this case, our average atomic mass would be 98.1.